Greetings, fellas. Uh, Roger Bowman here. And the topic of this video, which is really kind of off the cuff, totally not planned, but I just felt the need to just do it right away. Um, it revolves around the question of uh, testosterone replacement therapy. And is it worth it? You know, um, I, I'm almost 41 years old. Most of my friends, of course, are around my age. And, um, you know, I, I'd say probably more so in the last year, I've had a lot of friends, friends that I've known for, you know, 10, 20 plus years, um, you know, are starting to, to reach out to me, you know, naturally with the aging process, you know, you know, testosterone levels and, and everything else is going to, to drop. You know, our bodies are aging. It's, you know, it's, it's no mystery. And, of course, a lot of my friends have known for quite some time, or they're just recently kind of figuring out the work that I do, uh, which uh, I do work as a consultant for uh, an HRT clinic you know, outside of Chicago. And, uh, you know, many other things under the health, fitness, wellness umbrella as well through the year. So I'm getting a lot of these, these calls and people reaching out, social media, text, whatever, phone calls. And, um, you know, the, the, the question, you know, should I start testosterone replacement therapy or optimize my testosterone, testosterone however you want to preface it? The, the question stems from many different things for many different individuals. Um, yeah, I will say up front, you know, much of the, the hesitation to go down that road is because of the perceived or already received criticism of, you know, men optimizing their hormones, you know, for those that, you know, often don't know any better, you know, the, the mindset is, you know, with, with a man looking to, start testosterone is like, oh, you're going to start, you know, you're going to do steroids. Um, you know, I, I heard that stuff kills people and you're going to have roid rage and, you know, the list goes on, which really is, is um, it's unfair and most of the time it, it simply comes from a lack of education. And ironically, in my experience anyhow, it, it comes from a lot of, those, you know, like women, for example, that have been or currently are on birth control, which to me is, is funny because it's just synthetic estrogen and progesterone. It's not even bioidentical. Um, you know, and, you know, from if we, even if we look at, you know, a guy wanting to do testosterone, even from like a cosmetic standpoint, because testosterone does help men look, look better, assuming that they're eating well and working out. I mean, we have women that, you know, they're doing liposuction, they're getting boob jobs, um, they apply makeup every day and lipstick, and they're buying expensive shoes, and they're they're doing all this this stuff. Uh, much of much of uh, this being cosmetic, uh, you know, medical procedures to their bodies, and it's accepted. Society accept it, accepts it. It's totally fine, um, you know, but. You know, when we're talking about true TRT with men, testosterone replacement therapy, you know, men are looking to incorporate, you know, more bioidentical testosterone, just like the testosterone that we as men make. We're not talking about, or I'm not talking about steroids. I'm not talking about, you know, Anivar, Deca, or Tremblin, or, you know, all, all those steroids are simply chemically modified versions of testosterone itself. We're not talking about any of that. We're talking about replacing testosterone in a man whose endogenous production of testosterone has plummeted big time. So much so to the point that he looks like and feels like dog crap. You know, when a man's testosterone levels have plummeted so low, you know, he feels lethargic. His cognitive abilities or ability to think clearly or make good decisions, uh, be productive at work. All these things are, are, have declined. And really, in short, you know, he just simply doesn't feel like the man that he deserves to look and feel like. So, you know, testosterone has unfairly gotten a lot of unfair titles or statements slapped or attached onto it, much of which simply is, is just not true. 
you know, I remember, you know, back in the 80s, you know, the after school specials with, you know, like Ben Affleck, you know, banging his head against the wall. And, you know, they really dramatized all that, which is it's nonsense. In fact, a lot of it, you know, the, the opposite is true. You know, when a man's testosterone levels are low and he feels like crap and he's depressed and he's agitated, I mean, that's usually when their mood is not right. But, you know, you optimize and balance out a man's hormones and you start to help him look and feel good. He portrays that with the man that he is, you know, towards his, you know, his spouse, his kids, his, you know, his work and those around him. So it's a very positive thing if and when done properly and correctly. And, you know, doing it, engaging in a TRT program properly and correctly, that, that's another topic of discussion. And I, I, I can talk, talk on that particular topic, you know, probably for the next 20 minutes if I really wanted to. But, you know, trying to kind of keep it streamlined here with, with this topic. So, you know, is it worth it? Um, my... My short answer to most that ask that question is, hell yes, it is worth it. Uh, you know, if I, I just take myself personally, there's no way in hell that I would ever want to go back to not being on, you know, a testosterone optimizing program. You know, I love the fact that my testosterone levels are at the very upper end of, of normal. They're very high, but healthy. And my health overall is great. And all the associated parameters that go with testosterone in a program are also very healthy. Um, I, I, not to sound conceited, but, you know, I look good. I'm almost ready to turn 41. Uh, I, you know, I have a better physique than most 20-year-old 20, 20 guys, you know, in their 20s. Uh, and I feel good. My sex drive, is, you know, all, all that stuff is great. I would never want to, you know, go back and have that declined, um, you know, like it was prior. So, you know, so once again, is, is it worth it? Hell yes. And, you know, for those men that are doing a program similar to myself, which of course is, you know, appropriate for them and their needs and where they are at, I know without a doubt that they would say, hell yes, also, <laughs> Um, you know, the money, you know, most, most programs, if I were to be, you know, upfront and honest, I would say most program programs that I see are, you know, two fifty three hundred $300 a month. But, you know, if, if we were to break that down, I mean, honestly, you know, 80 bucks a week, I, I know some of, some of my very unhealthy friends, I love them all and I don't judge them, you know, to each their own. I mean that too, but uh, you know I know I know many many people they will go out to eat every day, or at least three four or five times a week, and they'll drop ten bucks easily at some fast food joint, if not more if it's a sit down joint, and and it's shit food it's garbage, and, or they buy cigarettes or they buy booze every weekend, come on eighty dollars a a week, I mean to to look and feel awesome totally totally worth it. Um, so that's, that's my, my short answer. Um, you know, there are, of course, you know, there's always ifs and buts or whatever with, you know, every topic of discussion under the health and wellness umbrella, you know, there of course, you know, is a, a small group of, of guys out there where, you know, TRT may not be the, the correct choice or it may not be worth it to them. You know, if somebody really is, um, you know, not financially stable and their testosterone levels are not completely in its well, they're just a little bit on the lower end, you know, I mean, that that's something for that individual to, you know, to weigh out and decide for themselves. You know, obviously somebody doesn't want to, you know, struggle paying the rent or, you know, their car payment or something like that. Um, but again, most 40 plus year old men that I know and the, the circle of people that I hang out with, they, they have 300 bucks a month. Um, you know, whether they think they do or they don't, they, they do. Um, because I can, I can see from the, as an outsider that they're spending that kind of money on all kinds of other things. Uh, and for me, you know, my, my personal opinion or my take on life or, the way I look at life is there's, there's just nothing more important than our health. 
you know, I feel that you know, we're given one body and I, I feel that it's our job to respect, you know, what we've been given and respect our body and take care of it. And, you know, it, to, today we have so, so much that has been advanced so well, you know, with, you know, within the medical field, you know, technology, so on and so forth. And I think it's kind of silly in many instances not to take advantage of that and, and to look and feel our best. And, you know, I think, uh, unfortunately, a lot of people just don't, you know. So, yeah, testosterone replacement therapy, is it worth it? My opinion, absolutely, when done correctly. Um, yes. So, hopefully that gave a little bit of insight. I know I did not go into any great detail in any one way. Again, you know, going in a couple of different directions, um, you know, can be done with some other videos or, you know, of course, if any of you, you know, want to reach out to me and request a consultation or whatnot, you know, we can look to do that. You know, as I always say, you know, sincerely here to you know, help and, and do my best for those that may need it. So thanks again for checking in, guys, and we'll talk to you soon. Take care.